is frustrated with school leaders after she says her son's bus driver dropped him off and left him with no one there to pick him up. The third grader attends the Rhodes School for the Performing Arts and was dropped off at Canyon Village at Park Lakes. ABC 13's Derek Lewis joins us live from that bus stop in Humble with more on this story. Tom, Sabrina White says there is no excuse for her six-year-old son to be dropped up here at this stop and left here alone to find his way home. She says he ended up walking to a nearby Walmart where a stranger ended up picking him up. Sabrina White showed up at Rose School for the Performing Arts to pick up her son, but he was not there. On Thursdays, he stays after school for tutoring, but last Thursday, there was some confusion. White says that day, her son got on the bus to go home. By the time she found out, she says her son had already been dropped off at his bus stop with no one there to pick him up. The little boy started walking from the stop and then flagged down a stranger at a nearby Walmart parking lot. His mother is thankful he knows how to get home and that the stranger drove him to his neighbor's house, where he waited there for her. White says her six-year-old son should have never been left alone. The way that the bus stop is set up, the, the, the bus driver comes into the parking lot of the recreational center. Mm -hmm. And she has to come out and go back around passing in front of the recreational center. And so there's no way that you're going to tell me you didn't look over and you see, didn't see my baby walking by himself. The school has responded to the incident, saying safety is their number one priority at Rhodes School for the Performing Arts, and they regret that this incident occurred. Unfortunately, an altercation between students broke out at the bus stop, allowing this incident to take place. They are reviewing the district's policies and procedures to ensure this doesn't happen again. White says she asked her son about that fight, and he told her there was no fight at the bus stop at all. White says even if there was, that's no reason to leave her child alone here at this stop. I've reached out to the superintendent to find out what their procedure is in a situation like this. I am still waiting to hear back. Live in Humble, I'm Derek Lewis, ABC 13 Eyewitness News.